Hello, friends, fans, and folks all around. I'm here today with a highly requested explanation and tutorial video on TI-84 chiptunes. Well, let's get right into it. The software I use to make music on my calculator is called Houston Tracker, developed by Irelich Project. Sorry if I botched the pronunciation. Houston Tracker is, as its name suggests, a tracker. But Joe, you might ask, what's a tracker? As stated by Mitch Gallagher in the Music Tech Dictionary, a tracker is a type of music sequencer software in which the music is represented as discrete musical notes positioned in several channels at discrete chronological positions on a vertical timeline. A music tracker's user interface is usually number-based. Notes, parameter changes, effects, and other commands are entered into the keyboard into a grid of fixed time slots as codes consisting of letters, numbers, and hexadecimal digits. So, when you look at my calculator screen, you can see each of the numbers representing the different music patterns, and if I click into one of them, you can see the notes within it. These patterns are all combined together to make the song that you're hearing now. There is more to it than just these notes, however. As you can see, in this fourth channel, we have the drum and effect commands. The first column indicates the drum notes to be played, while the last three indicate effect commands for all four channels. Because of the limitations of the TI-84, the effects all had to be placed into one command row, unlike other trackers in which you could use individual effect commands simultaneously on different channels. So that's a tracker, you might say. But Joe, how does this make the delightfully brain-itching beep boops that come out of the other end? Here's where it gets funky, and I'm going to go into a bit of technical terminology, so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. For one, the TI-84 does not have a sound card or sound output by default. As such, the genius programmer of Houston Tracker used the CPU to create the sounds, outputting them through the I.O. port, which stands for input-output. Because of the nature of the calculator, the I.O. port can only send ones or zeros in its data, essentially turning the speaker on or off very rapidly, creating sound through its digital output. This is what makes the calculator music one bit. The CPU changes from one to zero and back again almost instantaneously, but speaker cones and other audio-related devices have a physical momentum to them, making the change a more gradual curve. By rapidly changing from 1 to 0 at different rates, this creates lag in the curve, and it can be exploited to create multiple simultaneous tones. The creator dubs this, uh, pulse interleaving, and it is what allows the tracker to make its sounds. And so, here we have it, the Houston Tracker. But how do you get this onto your calculator and start jamming? You're gonna wanna go to the link I'm showing now, the creator's site, and there you'll find a download with a PDF manual to go with it. Along with this, you'll want to download and install TILP on your computer, a transfer software to move files to the calculator, which can be found here. Before installing, make sure you download and install the GTK runtime, found here. When installing TILP, make sure to check the compatibility DLLs box and install to instr slash lib. After doing all this, you now must download Doors CS7, a calculator operating system that will allow you to run Houston Tracker. Open TILP and connect to your calculator. You can then drag the file for Doors CS7 onto it, and then drag the file for Houston Tracker. That's it! Now, on your calculator, run Doors CS7 and use the arrow keys to move the Houston Tracker icon, hitting enter to run it. Voila! You now have Houston Tracker running on your calculator. Plug in a 2.5mm to 3.5mm converter, and now you've got audio. You can read the included manual for more specifics on how to use the software. If you want a tutorial in that respect, let me know and I can make one. Thank you all so much for the support. If you like what I do and want to help me out, please consider following me and donating to my Venmo at Squib. It really means a lot.